I'd like you all to meet Nadia, a Seton Hall student from the near future. For the past six months, our business leadership team has been trying to answer several questions about something called the metaverse. What is the metaverse? Can there be more than one metaverse? How do you make a metaverse and what can you do with one? And how does Mark Zuckerberg factor into all of this? After months of intense research, I can confidently say that we cannot answer any of those questions. Thankfully, we have Nadia to help. Over the last 70 years, computers have become smaller and more accessible to users. Nowadays, the home desktop computer seems almost archaic compared to our smartphones, laptops, Apple watches, and other devices we carry with us everywhere. In a very literal sense, we are attached at the hip to our computers. The computer's next evolution is its integration into the human body. Nadia has several implants that allow her to experience immersive virtual spaces. Rather than using a large, clunky headset to access cartoonish worlds, Nadia's implants allow her to experience a high-resolution virtual world of her own design. Several companies have already created brain implants that allow users to mentally control computers. With a bit of development, you can imagine how these technologies could allow Nadia to be in two places at once. Nadia's metaverse isn't just a virtual reality. Her implants also allow her to affect the physical world she inhabits. Computer-enabled devices will eventually be able to tap into an Internet of Things, which is a network of smart devices capable of communicating with one another. With advancements in automation and AI, Nadia's implants can communicate with an automated coffee shop that will prepare her order and coordinate with a delivery robot. This revolutionized coffee run is closer to reality than you might think. Internet of Things technologies will merge networks of users and machines, allowing for the metaverse to smoothly integrate within our daily lives. Think of virtual reality as a pool. You can jump into the deep end and be fully immersed in complete virtual reality, or you can dip your feet into the shallow end. The shallow end represents augmented reality, where virtual constructs can be perceived in the physical world. In the future, augmented reality technology might allow Nadia and her trainer to see one another in a few different ways. Four years ago, a research team developed an implant that allows images to be streamed directly into a user's brain. Another company is working to develop contact lenses that can overlay images on a user's vision. These technologies could play a key role in bringing humans closer together in the metaverse. This means that Nadia can visit the beach for a yoga session with her trainer and get a full workout without leaving her room. Of course, this is just one of the many useful applications of augmented reality that people will use to enhance their quality of life in the near future. Nadia's mother passed away a few years ago. The loss was very hard on her, especially as a college student in need of guidance. Thanks to technological advancements, Nadia is able to get some of that guidance from an AI-enabled reconstruction of her mother. The reconstruction, which Nadia interacts with in mixed reality, emulates Nadia's mother's voice and mannerisms, based on all available data about her mom from when she was alive. In 2020, South Korean researchers developed a virtual reality reconstruction of a deceased seven-year-old, which allowed the seven-year-old's mother to speak with her and even hug her. While this experience may sound a bit morbid to us, Nadia and others find comfort in these AI-enabled dinners. As Nadia's day ends, she decides to spend time with her father. Thankfully, he's just a call away and able to play for both his daughter and for us as we conclude our journey through a day in the metaverse. One of the hardest parts of this project was coming to the realization that research could only get us so far. We stopped trying to get our answers from someone else and started making our own, which brought us to the conclusion of our presentation. When you hear the term metaverse, we want you to stop envisioning heavy headsets that trap employees in stark virtual office spaces. It's time that we start imagining a world where technology fills gaps in human experience rather than creates them. Nadia has given us one example of what this kind of metaverse could look like, but the future is unknowable. Our advice about the metaverse boils down to this. Stop waiting for others to determine what your future will hold. Start imagining how you want it to look.